Hello, kind and loving humans. Sometimes, well, oftentimes, but sometimes prayers come true, even for things as everyday as makeup. I have heard of Pat McGrath Labs, and they always seem so expensive. Now, I don't know how big the palettes were, but probably you're getting more than I would need in colors that I don't even know if I like. And people would just rave and rave. And I guess she does things for the stage, which is my background, although she might do more like models and I did more theater, but I prayed for the opportunity to try things like smaller things at a lower price. And that has happened. I find the packaging very fun. Now I'm someone that I would rather pay more for the product and not the packaging. But if, you know, in this case, I got a sale it was like already on sale, plus I got an extra sale on top of that. So in that case, yeah, I'm going to appreciate the fun sequins in here that I can totally reuse for crafts. I don't know if this is resealable. That would be nice. But yeah, it's fun. And I can see why people enjoy it. But at the same time, just like with food, there have been places that are very, very expensive and you're paying for the ambiance, but the food was, mm. I would rather have just a decent place as long as it's safe and clean but delicious food now granted there is something to be said for eating by the beach and by a lighthouse and in lovely lighting but i mean if the food is really good i'm happy with paper plates and plastic silverware as long as you can cut the meat properly but you know a lot of outside places that are kind of in the country are cheaper and still delicious but getting to sit out in nature is quite lovely. Certainly, in my opinion, more lovely than a lot of city atmospheres that could charge a lot. I remember some of that in New York City, charging an arm and a leg. And I mean, the food was good, but all the stress to get there, not amazing. So anyway, I've gotten a little bit away from the makeup. So this one is the Eye Ecstasy Sublime Eyeshadow Palette. Does it say the size? Okay, so five, of, five eyeshadows at one gram each. Whereas these, I think this is a regular size and this is 1.1 gram. Oh, so these look pretty small. Maybe they're deeper than I realized, but these look quite wide and maybe they're more shallow than I realized, but I don't see how this could be only 0.1 more, 0.1 gram larger. If they're both the same depth, I don't know. It's tough to kind of measure the depth because you could get like a thin pin and put it down and then mark your nail, how deep it is, but maybe that will come to light later. So let us begin. What I find amusing is it says Pat McGrath Labs runway tested from the mother of makeup backstage for 3,300 runway shows are use without caution. Well, that's fun. And I think I shall. Now keeping these, okay, that did not actually open it. Keeping these sequins contained will be probably like managing those like minions. It has a funny smell. I don't know if plastic is the right word. Vinyl, maybe some kind of plastic. So yeah, I mean, this is, if I want to use this for crafts or clothing, that's a lot of sequins. Hopefully they're all new and not like would have fallen off of dresses. Okay, so this opens up to lavish eyes with this portable palette of gleaming metallic shades. Ooh, metallic, I think I knew, must have known that. Unlock Pat McGrath's signature approach to mesmerizing and transfixing beauty, achieving single swipe saturation at the touch of a finger. Use without caution, elevate artistry to create scintillating looks. Gild lids in a single shade or mix and layer to create multidimensional effects. The mother of makeup on the runway. 25 years of groundbreaking artistry, obsession, inspiration, addiction. 87 makeup trunks used backstage at Fashion Week. Artistry, alchemy, allure. Created the look for 3,300 runway shows on 129,000 models. Technique, technology, truth. The makeup master behind 401 magazine covers. Mastery, mesmerization, majorness. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really tell me much about the palette, but okay. And then we have the names like, oh, this is way lighter than I thought. One, two, three. Okay, so it goes like one, two, three, four, five. I would have thought like one, two, three, four, five. 
Anyway. Distributed by Pat McGrath in New York. Also Belgium, UK, London, Great Britain, made in the USA of US and imported ingredients. Well, that's nice to know. Why did I think she was London based? So I love metallic. And these, I guess these count as neutrals. Although this one's more green than I thought. I might like that. So green, brown, medium kind of gold, kind of a dark bronze. And what would you call this? I would kind of call it like a light bronze, maybe a silver bronze, maybe even a gold bronze, but something like this, but kind of between those. And then that greenish gold. So I guess we could start by swatching. Here's the greenish gold. I, okay, a little bit better than I thought. They did mention it being creamy and you can feel it as you're dipping into it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, the third one though, is a little bit like it's less creamy and more sandy feeling, but still mm, better than I thought. Dark brown. Oh, that's like that kind of it, like it looks a lot darker than it comes out, which could be good for smokiness. And it's got kind of like those speckles in it, but it seems to be matte otherwise. So they are more creamy than I thought. I thought that was just going to be kind of a gimmicky thing. Not gimmicky, but something they say, but doesn't really follow through. So I think I want to start with the dark brown and get some eyeliner. Now, when I dip the brush in, now it is coming off kind of dusty powdery, which, oh, yep, totally just dropped some on my cheek. And this is one of those days where I've already got mascara on. So now it's kind of looking black on my skin. Definitely flicking quite a bit. And also coming out, well, I guess this is that dark shade that's coming off differently than, than uh, it did on the finger swipe. I think, well, I can see some of that. I thought it was going just to swipe away nicely. Maybe this would be a better brush. Oh, wait. Why is it? I must need to wash that. It's got something kind of, I must have used a something like this on it because it's got, as if it's got hair gel in it. Okay, so even this tiny brush, that definitely picks up enough pigment to do an eyeliner very easily. Fun so far, what should be next? I think this is a fresh makeup brush. I should have brushed. I mean, the, the bronze looked far more red to me on the swatches, I think. So I'm gonna try that. I haven't done like a smoky eye in a while. I guess we're kind of aiming towards that. I've had the foundation on for a while during the day. I'm kind of excited about the amount of pigmentation and saturation. A lot of companies promise that and then don't seem to deliver. Now granted that is easier in these types of colors than let's say with the pastels, but definitely getting tons of fallout. Hmm. Maybe I'll try this one next. In between. I do kind of wonder if it goes on so thick, so to speak, with just the finger and a dry brush, what would the big difference be with a wet brush? I'm losing depth somehow. 
But I'm glad to be trying them all. As we know, metallics and shimmers do well with finger applications. I mean, these are pretty dark for me, that's for sure. You know, there is something to be said for the idea that knowing it's from a fancy company makes you feel differently about it. I mean, even those Believe Beauty, they were surprisingly pigmented. See, this is just, it's okay. It's just, I feel like neutrals on me, it's just kind of like a harsh, dark. I mean, when you've got the Eastern European resting, not so friendly face, I feel like this can end up enhancing it. And sure, I can see the shimmer and that's nice. And then the only lightest one we've got left is that kind of greenish gold. It does make me curious about some of those other colors that, you know, which ones would be light enough for me, which ones would really fit and suit me. Yeah, I don't know if this is still green, if that's what I would call this. It's kind of, but what other color would I call it besides green? I mean, it kind of reminds me of the copper patina, not that green, but I guess since these seem kind of like natural metals to me, I do think that kind of lightens it up enough where it doesn't have that harsh look as much. And I mean, on the camera, it looks fine. I would say less, I'm less in love in person, but I feel like this could be like a fine everyday look if I'm not going for color, but I'm usually going for color. Mm, let me see this like reddish one again, the reddish bronze. That's kind of weird. Mm, I like the blended look better. They're fun. I'm glad I didn't pay a ton. I mean, I think I guess I mean, it's hard to know. Is the formula of all of hers the same? I don't know. This would be a good way to try it. I want to try to dampen brush now. Where's my palette? <clears throat> I would rather have the palette. There we go. It kind of has the lip for liquids. So this, oh no, I want to use the setting spray that, that I actually don't love that much as setting spray, but it's good for this purpose. Now, which brush do I want? This one should be good, but which color? Oh, I know, I'll do the kind of bright medium gold. I just kind of wonder if they can be painted on so well, then how is it creamy? Like, you know, creamy, I think of oil and oil and water don't mix and setting sprays are water-based. So this is making it more intense. I do like that. I kind of wonder if, like, how defined of a line can we get?
And I feel like a lot of her colors, like the more bold colors are way too dark for me. And then you've got like the rose type palettes. I'm, I think I'm glad I'm trying this before getting that other one that's on sale. And it is a significant sale. And again, I don't know if all of hers are the same formula. I don't even know if you can see the dark ones underneath here. While we're here, might as well try the eyeliner brush with the darkest color, which again seems, at least from the brush, it feels a little bit more gritty. Kind of like that medium bronze. Let's see what happens when we make this into a liquid liner. I wonder how many other people find liquid lining super easy when you make it yourself versus the kind pre-made like with the pen. I don't want to say super easy, but comparatively much easier. That one I probably should have blended more back on the palette. I think I had some chunks in there. It's like striking a fine balance, picking up the color in the pan, going back to the palette, making it liquidy. That is a thick eyeliner. I also kind of wonder how much is this darkness going to sink in to the light below it? Hmm. Well, that's bold, but it's not, you know, it's, I would say it's, it's definitely got, it's more like brownish charcoal. It's not deep black, which is good. That works for me, kind of. Could still use some smudging out. Sometimes certain lining like below is not very realistic in allergy seasons with eyes watering, etc. But it looks good for a little while and that can be fun. So I got the gold. I wanted to also try the lighter gold, paint it on. I would say it still blends nicely. Like it doesn't become unmanageable just because you're using a wet brush. But also I would say at this point, I don't need to mix it on the palette, like I don't need like the wet brush is different than getting the pan fully soaked, like with eyeliner purposes. Hmm. That works. I think we're about done. I mean, Definitely metallic, not, not my, I mean, I, I think some of the metallic I'm used to using has larger chunks and that's why it looks shinier. So I would say this is for me closer to like a satin, but it's the way I like it. And I like that it has enough color. I mean, that, I think that's easier to do in these types of colors. Again, I'm not a neutrals person. I guess it could be good for travel. It's nice and small if you want the neutral. I guess it works. I, I did like the formula, especially putting it on the fingers. Like, yeah, I guess, the, I mean, I am a more metallic person and I don't see any duochrome here. Although, what's the last one I used? I think this was the last one I used. It does seem some kind of different, differently reflective, but, Overall, I'd say I like it.
it ends up a little bit dark. I don't think it really brings out the green eyes of anything. I don't know, almost like mutes them, but it's a fun formula to play with. I'm really glad I got a good sale. The other ones I have are this gold and this. Celestial to me looks a lot like this one over here. Maybe it's a little bit lighter. I would say the one in the palette is more brown and this one is more taupe. But I think that could be kind of a good overall color. And again, I'm now trying to think, are these maybe deeper pans? Like if the pan goes this whole way, maybe that is deeper than the bottom part of this. I don't know yet if those completely screw off or what, but I'm sure they know what they're doing. I mean, these are kind of space far apart. I'm just thinking like in the future when I might want to refill them with something else or something. I like that the, I like that this is plastic and I can wipe that off and it's not like that cardboard. And I think by them being more recessed, there's less dust that's gonna come out. Like with the body shop, that has the powder like above. And so any kickback just goes in the middle. And if you wanna to try to wipe it off, you're now wiping the eyeshadow. So I like these are more like potholes, so to speak. I think that'll help to keep things clean. Yeah, just dusting that off is more doable. So I like that. And I feel like this lid could be used to put setting spray to moisten the brush. And again, these are all kind of like colors that for me are, mm, but it's very exciting. Oh yeah, and then this one is the dark blue. This, it's probably gonna be pretty dark for me. Like, I, I think this was like of the colorful ones. I think this looks a lot darker than it did on the screen. I would have loved like a bright purple, but I'm sure I had some reason for this. Maybe this is like the only colorful one that seemed like it would work for me. So I guess we can see how it wears during the day. And I still have other companies to try. And again, it's like the, the green one kind of tricks you into thinking it's lighter, but really, I don't think it's really lighter than this one. Like it's just a different color. So I think more playing makes sense. I don't even know how much you can see the green one on top. It, it does look lighter. Kind of. It, or is it just the greenness of it? I mean, this looks more medium, but it's also more, I don't know, it's just more yellow. So definitely fun more fun with the sale. You know, it, since I had kind of more red lip today, that also works. So it's not super colorful and a red lip, but this is kind of more like an, a light red and I think it's orange based below the lip gloss. So fun. I look forward to trying more. I might even have another look at that sale that's going on, but between that and Natasha Denona sale, which is going on for a couple more days, one of hers is very appealing to me. It's like the circus one plus, oh, the trio chrome. Now, a lot of the trio chrome to me is like mm, a lot of matte, but I would be very curious about how the trio chrome powder works. So I might go more in that direction. We shall see, but this has been fun. I'm glad to finally have it up and running. Now I can play more even on days where I'm not recording. Some days I want to have my recording be the first time I open it, first time I try the new company I'm not used to. So glad this worked out. So thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful week and peace be with you.